Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. And if you're here for a second, third, or fourth time, thank you so much for coming back and getting creative. Hey guys, this is going to be a fun owl painting, perfect for any of my first time and beginner painters. So grab your supplies, transfer your traceable to your surface, and as always, take your progress photos. Now on this traceable, I did go over it with a black Sharpie marker for those of you that might pause the video and draw what you see. But if you are utilizing the traceable, just transfer it and then jump right into painting. Now for the background, um, I'm doing a mixture of blue and purple and demonstrating three different brush strokes right there. Um, try any brush stroke that you want as we fill it up. Try all the brush strokes, kind of find what is comfortable for you. And we're going to be filling up that entire background. You are more than welcome to switch colors if you prefer um, just a blue, maybe just purple, maybe you want a black background, maybe you want a navy. But again, feel free to switch this out to anything that you want. Um, and same with the owl. You are more than welcome to change out colors and make this unique to what you want. That is the beauty of art. Now, if you are one of my first time and beginner painters, please breathe, take a big inhale. You may be holding your breath without realizing it. Um, and every now and then just kind of check in and see if you are holding your breath while you're being creative. If your brush ends up being kind of shaky, that is a sign that you are holding your breath. So take a moment, pause the video and um, breathe and just kind of enjoy the process. Painting is your escape from your daily world and just kind of a nice way to get creative and change a blank surface into something that you created. Now, if you are one of my student first time and beginner painters and using student grade paint like I am here, um, if it's not nice coverage for you or what we call kind of transparent, you are more than welcome to apply your paint thicker or Apply it once, let it dry, and apply a second layer on top of it. Whatever you may need to do uh, with the type of paint that you have. And for today's painting, I am actually painting on watercolor paper, which is why it is taped to the panel to keep it flat. You can paint on watercolor paper, you can paint on a canvas panel, or a stretched canvas. Something to note about the watercolor paper, it does absorb the moisture of the paint rather quickly and it makes your, your paint dry faster. So you either work in smaller spaces or just apply your paint a little bit thicker. So there we go, we've got a nice background. We're actually gonna add some stars to it. So pause that video, take a progress photo. We're gonna clean the brush out really good and we're gonna add what we call a watered down white. So we're gonna add some water and then tap our brush against another brush to create these dots. Now do make sure that you have um, a tablecloth down so you're not making a huge mess wherever you're at at home or some old newspaper or do this outside um, to get the stars on there. It is important that the white paint is watered down so that way you can get those little dots and it comes from the force of just hitting that brush kind of like a drumstick um, against the other brush and letting the drops fall. And then we're gonna move into our next color so you can fully let that dry or jump right into your burnt sienna for our tree. Again, you can change the colors if you want a lighter tree or a birch tree or something different, feel free to switch the color um, to the tree of your liking. Now this burnt sienna is kind of a reddish brown. We're gonna fill in um, that tree trunk and because this is absorbing rather quickly, I'm gonna grab a little bit of black in a moment and do some um, little lines. So just grab a tiny amount of black, place those lines where I want it, wipe off that brush, and then with light pressure, just kind of go back and blend them into that brown. And you can see that a little bit of black goes a long way. So just kind of play with that light pressure, embrace whatever um, kind of happens and you know, how much black or how little black you may have on there. And that's your tree for today's painting. 
As you paint, you are getting more comfortable with your brush pressure, with applying the paint, and with mixing your colors. So same thing here, just those little spots of black. Then we're going to wipe off the brush and then go through and light pressure, just squish that black into that burnt sienna. And I didn't actually wipe off the brush. So if you need to wipe off the brush um, before you do yours. Painting does not have to be perfect. It is more about the process of just enjoying transforming that blank surface into something you made. Now we're going to move into a light blue and that is white with a tiny amount of blue. And we're going to go for the interior, the kind of the belly of our owl. If you prefer to do this in a light purple, go right ahead or any other color that you may want. And filling in that whole space. And then I'm going to grab a bit more of a medium blue. And we're going to uh, do a wet on wet blending. We're going to kind of put this on the edges of the belly of our owl. There we go. Just a little touch of blue, just like we did for the tree branch. I'm going to place it. Um, kind of where the body and the wings meet and then at the base where the feet are and then wipe off that brush and then light pressure um, blend it in and if you are using fast drying paint or on watercolor paper like I am you did notice that I grabbed a touch of water you never want your brush dripping wet but a touch of water to help with a little bit of the blending when your paint dries rather fast it is a bit of a happy balance so play with yours based on um, how fast or slow drying your paint is. So now we're going for a bit of a medium blue, a few shades darker than the belly of the owl for the outside wings. Again, if you want to go purple or a different color, go right ahead. And then here we're going to grab the purple, um, placing it on there, light pressure. There we go. And feel free to pause the video as often as you need to. You do not have to wait for me to prompt you to pause the video go at your pace. So going back to that medium blue, we're going to move into the head of the owl. And if you need to switch brushes, feel free to do that as you get into smaller spaces, moving down to the flat brush, medium flat brush, or even the small pointy brush. And no matter which brush you are using, play with that pressure. You may need to rest your forearm against the edge of the table, or you can kind of put your pinky out and use that as your steady pivot point. If you need to turn your canvas upside down or sideways to make it easier, feel free to do that. I keep mine in the same orientation just because I'm filming the video. So now same thing, grabbing a little bit of that purple, going to place it in a few areas, wipe off the brush, and then go back with light pressure and blend it in. This is wet on wet blending and is just helping you get comfortable with blending. And oh, I forgot my cat Zuzu had to come and check it out. There she is. <laughs> she loves drinking the paint water. Um, but again, just kind of play with your creative process with what you might need and what's comfortable for you. And here we moved into a little bit of purple. Again, feel free to switch colors. Anything you want to do, go back and add more. This is your creative time. All right, pause the video, take your progress photo. We're going to go in with a really light tan, and that is white with a tiny amount of the burnt sienna. Um, you can use raw sienna as well. And this is going to be for around the eyes. And we're going to build on the same thing. I'm going to be placing that light tan on both the areas. Then I'm going to grab a bit of that raw sienna. And just like the purple and the blue and the black, we're going to place it in a few areas, wipe off that brush, and then go back with light pressure and blend it in. So here we are grabbing that burnt sienna, um, kind of the interior ring um, around the eyes of this owl, placing it on there. And then if you need to wipe off the excess paint of your brush, and then we'll go back with that light pressure and just kind of soften it. If you want to do this with a different color, go right ahead and do that. And if you feel like you need to grab more pigment so it's a little bit darker, go right ahead and do that as well. I am outlining the outer circle. If you feel like doing that on your painting, you can. And then we're going to move into yellow for the beak, the eyes. And on the eyes, I'm going right over that uh, pupil and catch light. We will reapply it in the next 
a couple of steps. And if you need to move to that small pointy brush, go right ahead and do that. I am proud of you guys for painting and getting creative. We're going to move into a yellow green. Um, your call, how much yellow, how much green for the leaves. And again, play with your pressure. Remember to breathe. I'm proud of you for painting. Um, the more that you paint, the more comfortable that you get. And the more that you practice your skills, the more confident you become in those skills. So pause the video, take your progress photo. I did let this fully dry before I moved into the black outlines. Uh, so acrylic paint generally takes about 15 minutes to dry. So let it dry, take a break, and then come back and do your outline. Or you can use a hair dryer or put your painting in the sun um, if you want it to dry a little bit faster. Now, as you're working with this pointy brush and your black outlines, play with the pressure. Light pressure creates a smaller line. More pressure creates a bit of a wider line. And for my beginners, if you have varying widths of line, that's okay. Embrace that. The more that you practice this pressure, the um, smaller lines you can make and the more control you will have over it. Also take notice that every couple of brush strokes, I am grabbing more paint. Um, so you wanna keep making sure that you grab paint so that you're actually applying something to the canvas. And if you need to take a look at your brush, do you have a lot of paint buildup on your brush? And if so, wipe off that excess paint, re-grab your paint, and then go back to doing your outlines. If you need to, you can rest your forearm against the edge of the table to help keep your arm a little bit steadier, or put your pinky out and use that as a pivot point. And also feel free to rotate the canvas to make it easier to get to some of the top areas so you're not putting your forearm or resting your forearm in um, the other areas of the wet paint. Basically, use this as a guideline and whatever you need to do to adjust to make your process easier, please do that. These videos and my instruction are merely a guide to help take out some of the scariness of painting, but also give you the encouragement to go in your own direction. That is the beauty of painting. It's like handwriting. We each have our own handwriting style. And the sooner you can embrace your own handwriting style, the happier you are with your painting progress. So again, as we get into those smaller details, if you've got a lot of buildup on your brush, wipe off that excess paint and then go back to applying your outlines. So here we're outlining the eyes, then we'll do the pupil, and we will reapply that white catch light um, as our last step in a moment. Feel free to add anything extra to your painting. Make it unique to you. Um, here we're just doing little curves for kind of the feathers on the chest. But if you want to do a, a different design, put your name in it, put a butterfly, do a tribal design, anything you want to do to your owl, go right ahead and do that. And then we're going to move into white paint. Clean that brush. We're going to place those catch lights. Just observe where, you where I place them and then anywhere else that you might want to put some white highlights. Thank you guys so much for getting creative today, taking time out of your day and hanging out with me. Please do not wait too long to do your next painting. You get better and better with more practice. Until next time, cheers. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of painting and I hope you are happy with how your paintings turned out. I'm really proud of you for getting creative. As you're uploading these to social media, please tag me at or hashtag paintwithlovejoy or email me your pictures paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. I really enjoy seeing them. Um, I try to post them on social media to encourage other beginner painters um, to try the process of painting. But please share this with your community as well. Anybody who is kind of scared to paint, share your experience with them and let them know kind of how much you benefited from it and how much you enjoyed the process. So kind of share, share the fun. Um, with that being said, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, things that you want me to paint in the future, please leave a comment. I try to respond to everybody as quickly as I can. 
and any of the future suggestions for paintings, I add that to my production list and get to them as quickly as I can. So in the meantime, please keep getting creative. Uh, let me know how you're doing. And until next time, cheers.